welcome back friends this is the chapter 20 tutorial on microsoft excel vba tutorial basic to advanced in this chapter i am going to show you what is user form in vba you will learn how to make or design the user form for data entry first of all let's understand what exactly is user form user form in vba is a custom form that can be used for entering the data or creating the application user form is a graphical interface where the user has multiple options to interact with the workbook let me show you some examples of user form that is already created for this let me go here in this invoice or bill entry excel workbook where i have this button when i click on this button here you see a user form is activated this is a user form created by using vva where you have multiple options to input the data like the bill number bill date customer name bill type bill amount after putting the information here you can click on the add button to add the record in excel sheet by using the update button you can update the record by using the delete button you can delete the record and by using the export button you can export the data to a new excel sheet so this is a sales bill entry form created by using vva user form let's look into another example here i have the inventory management template when i click on this button here you see a mini application for inventory management is opened this application is also created by using the user form in vva let's learn how to make or design the user form for data entry i am going to create here a user form to track the details of personal income and expenses for this click on the developer tab then visual basic to insert the user form click on the insert tab then click on this user form option here you see a interface for creating the user form is given let me maximize the vba window size by clicking here and this is the toolbox in the toolbox you can see different control buttons by using these control buttons we create the graphical interface here in the user form if you see in the user form here you see the caption of user form is given as user form 1 if you want to put here a different text then you have to click on the user form click on the view tab then click on properties window this will open the properties of the user form to change the display title of the user form you have to go to the caption option then change the caption here let me write here income and expenses tracker now here in the user form you can see income and expenses tracker is given the name of the user form is given as user form 1 this name will be used while writing the code and this caption is just to display the heading or the title of the user form keep this properties window here in this place if you want to see how does this form looks like you can click on this run button and here you see this is the user form which doesn't have anything yet we have to design the interface here close the user form by using this close button then it will go to this vva window again if you want to increase or decrease the size of the user form you can put the mouse pointer at the corner of the user form click and hold then drag it then the size of the user form will be increased click on the run button here you see this is the actual size of the user form now to create the interface of entering the data of income and expenses first of all let's create the fields for entering the data to create here a label click on this label option then click on the user form this created this label one to change the name here go to the properties window and here in the caption change the label name as date now click here here you see date is given to adjust the size you can move your cursor over here then drag it to adjust the size now to enter the date here you have to create a text box for that go here in the toolbox and then select this text box option then click on the user form this created this text box to change the position of this text box in the user form you can move your pointer at the edge of the text box then click and hold then drag it over here then drop it 
and here you see the position of the text box is changed in this text box we will enter the date after creating the first label and text box you can simply copy and paste this to copy this first you have to select to select click over here then hold the click and then drag the mouse pointer here you see the dotted line appears after covering the text box and label by the dotted line release the click now both of these are selected right click on it copy right click over here then click on paste here you see the label and text box is duplicated now you can drag it and adjust the position over here to change the caption click on the label go to the caption option in the properties then change this to income slash expenses following the same method create other fields for entering the details of income and expenses after creating all the fields required for entering the data now let's test the user form by clicking on the run button here you see our user form looks like this here we have to do some adjustment because this income and expenses and the expenses category is not properly visible so close the user form and edit this let's change the position of this text box by dragging this to right this way also drag this text box to right this way if you want to increase the font size of the labels you can select all the labels then go here in the font option in the properties then take a larger font size then click on ok and here you see the font size is increased let's run the user form the font size is now increased if you write something here in the text boxes the font size in the text box is small to increase the font size of the text box as well you can again go to the user form select all the text box you can select the multiple text box together by holding the control key in the keyboard after selecting all the text box go to the font option then take here a larger font then click on ok deselect the text box by clicking here then run the user form here you see now when you write something in the text box the font size is increased close the user form after the user enters the data here in these fields then we have to submit the data to the excel workbook for that we have to create here a submit button to create a button in the user form go to the toolbox then here you have an option that is command button click on the command button then click on the user form this has created this command button one drag and drop it here to change the caption of the command button go to the caption option in the properties window then right here submit go to the font option and take here the font size of 10 click on ok to change the color of the submit button you can go to this back color option click on this click on palette then here you can choose a color for submit button let me take this green color for the submit button let's create here another button to update the record for this let me copy this button then paste it drag and drop it here then change the caption as update change the color of this button by going to back color property let me take this blue color for the update button let's create here another button to delete the transaction for this select the button press ctrl c in the keyboard to copy click here then press ctrl v the duplicate is created adjust the position then change the caption as delete change the back color to red color let's create here one more button to clear the data that is put here in the box for that let me copy this 
paste it put it over here go to the caption then make it clear go to the back color property then choose this yellow color now the buttons are created you can adjust the button position by simply click hold and drag and drop let's run the user form by clicking on the run button now our user form looks like this if you want to keep a combo box drop down here in the expansions category from which you can select the category by using the drop down then you can change this to a combo box for that close the user form select this text box delete this then go to the toolbox then click on the combo box click on the user form here you see a combo box is created simply drag and drop it here in this position here you see a combo box is created by using this combo box you can choose the expenses category by clicking on this button let's run the user form here you see you can click on this button to activate the list here the list is blank because we haven't added any list in the expenses category after adding the items in the combo box then we can select a category from the list let's see how to change the background color of the user form to change the background color click on the user form then go to this back color property go to the palette and here you can choose a color that you want to use in the background let me take this color click on the user form then run the user form now your user form will look like this to change the color you can close this again go to the back color property then take here a different color select the user form then run it and here you see the color of the user form is changed and if you see here the background color of the label is still the white color if you want to change this white color to the forms background color then close the user form select these labels then go to this back color option go to palette and change the color from here this one then click on the user form then run it now the background color of the label is same with the background color of the user form so this is how we design a user form in vva to enter the data in this user form let me enter a record in the date field let me write february 16 2025 in the income and expenses i'll put expenses in the expenses category we have to create a drop down which we will do later in the amount let me write 230 in the remarks i'll write household goods purchase after i enter the details here when i click on the submit button nothing happens when i click on the update button nothing happens these buttons are not doing anything to make these buttons functional we have to write the vva code so in the next chapter we will learn how to write vva code for this submit button so that when we click on the submit button the information that is here in this text box will go into the excel sheet if you want to practice designing the user form in VBA, you can download this sample workbook file from the video description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next chapter.